Okay, so I'm at the nursing home right now. I'm going to make this as quick as possible. When I left my apartment, as I'm walking down the, as I'm walking out, another guy is walking in, typical mustache, right? They're surrounding me with these guys with mustaches. Now, ever since I made that video about one of them now, everywhere. He walks in carrying a coffee cup, which is an odd thing. He's just, he's just holding a coffee cup. And it looks exactly like the one that I have sitting on my counter. Okay, it's, it's, it's the exact same thing. Now, it's not my cup because mine is still on the counter. But they got a replica, right? Um, again, it's like it's references to things that I have or, or have said or have done in my own private home. Okay, all right. So I'm walk. I, I get to the to the train, and um, let me let me try to remember what happened. I want to keep everything in order. Okay. So I'm standing on the platform, and a little ways down, not all the way at the end, but a little ways down, there's this other guy. He's looking right in my direction. I mean, he's like literally turned, looking straight at me, which is, you know, I mean, normally it would be seen as weird, but for me, we, we know what that is. Um, there are other people in between us and they're going about their business, but, so this guy is looking straight at me and he literally made this, this gesture with his hands that I do sometimes like in my apartment. Um, but what, what they do is, and I've talked about this before, like they will mock my mannerisms but they will, they will, they will overdo it. Like they will, they will make it seem so crazy and, and like, like, like I look crazy, right? And so they're trying to make me feel crazy, but they also want me to know that they can see me in my apartment. Um, okay. So last night I was, I was just fantasizing about what it would be like if I could stop all of this, you know, there's this nightmare, the stalking, the, whatever, and if I can hold accountable those who, the stalkers who go along with it, right? So I was fantasizing about having, you know, magical powers and, and you know, video game abilities, right? And um, one of it was a cloaking ability, like if I could have invisibility, imagine that, right? And I, I was thinking to myself, I want, uh, you know, a magical cloak of invisibility. Um, okay, so I'm waiting Today, this morning, I'm waiting on the platform and this other guy comes by and he kind of kneels down in the corner, like looking at his cell phone, um, not too far from me. And then he gets up and walks past me when the train starts coming. And I notice on the back of his, his sweatshirt, it said uh, death cloak, which is interesting since I was fantasizing about that the night before. Um, they're referencing things that they, they should have no way of knowing. Okay, fast forward. Um, you know, I'm on the train and this guy sits right in front of me. There's another guy a little a little ways off and you know, they're both looking at their cell phones. Occasionally they'll like they'll they'll look at each other but just really quick and then they'll look back at their cell phones. So the other guy gets off and as he turns around, he just turns around and stands there, like right by the window where I'm sitting. And the outside though of the train, he's he's standing on the outside on the platform. And before the train leaves, I can see the back of his shirt. The name on the back of his shirt, it's like one of those those jersey shirts. I'm not going to give the name, but it's the last name of one of the guys who appeared to be involved in starting this entire stalking campaign to begin with. And I was thinking about him last night. Like, how would I find him if I could? This is the shit they do, guys. This, this is sick. Um, fast forward, I'm, I get off the train, I'm walking to the nursing home to see my mom, and I stop to get coffee, and some guy walks in, and he's looking at his phone, and it, he would appear to be like a, someone from like a delivery service or rideshare picking up someone else's order, but the name he gave was the name of a guy that I had been thinking about last night, okay? I was thinking about a specific guy, and in that case, I mean, I, I was thinking, I am living in a fantasy world now, like, and I was, I was thinking about this guy, and I was thinking, how great would it be if, like, if he could help, like, if he, if he could be my ally, if he could, if we can work together, right? And I was, I was wanting that, like, really badly. So he walks in and he said, hey, I'm here to pick up an order for so-and-so. And it's that guy's name. 
Of course, there was no order for so-and-so, and he left with nothing. Smirking, looking at his phone. This is what they do, guys. They make references. Like, you know, even like if, if I'm whistling something in my apartment, or even thinking, like, uh, and that's the weird thing. This is what makes it sound crazy. Like, I'm, 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 whist I'm singing a song in my head. They'll have someone come by and whistle it when I'm outside. So they, they, they want the target to know that they're being watched at all times. They send these random people. And the thing is, like, they want it to seem like absolutely everyone the targeted encounters is involved in it, when in reality, they're just sending their, their, their worthless lackey trash to surround the target, making it seem like it's absolutely everybody, when it's not. It's just the trash that, that are willing to take this job, right, in the stalking campaign, the stalking job. They like fucking with people. Anyway, it's gotten worse. I mean, obviously it's gonna be worse on the weekends because the, the you know, the garbage dumps who, who choose to involve themselves in this, you know, they, they're, they're all out and running around. But um, I have been outspoken um, about how uh, certain issues, and I think ever since I, I've done that, it's gotten worse. Um, I mentioned that I want to live in the, the United States of America, not the United States of Russia, not the United States of another country. Um, you know, another country. <laughs> you know, I, I, I mentioned some things. And, and I, I, I've not been shy about saying that I, I there are Eastern Europeans behind this, and I think there are, are certain Russians behind this, all of it. Um, yeah, just an update. <laughs>